Hi guys, this is Kenny Pistachio and today I'm on the mission. I was browsing the internet the other day and came across exercise that is very very popular among CrossFit lovers. So the exercise is very similar to clean and press, but it is called actually thrust. This exercise is mainly used in CrossFit, but obviously if you have a barbell and the gym, you can do it. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. So if you wanna see how to do it, so let's go. Okay, I start every workout with some warm-up exercises. Usually I would do like 10 squats, so I would do 10-15 uh, lunges on each leg and then probably 10 push-ups. Uh, make sure that you warm up your muscles before doing any exercises and especially when you do some um, lifting. And also stretching is always good before and after, so make sure that you do it and don't skip it. I'm obviously not a professional lifter or anything, but I have some experience in strength training, so I feel comfortable trying thrust right today and doing uh, clean and press in general. Uh, so I'm gonna start with th some lower weights and then progress gradually. So we start with the barbell in an overhead grip with a slight bend in the knees. Uh, make sure that your chest is lifted and back and arms are straight. So we begin by pulling up the bar with the straight arms by extending the knees and driving through the heels. So once the bar reaches hip height, um, I'm gonna give it a little hop and extend the hips, knees and ankles. So after that, we raise the elbows up past the height of the bar Quickly lower yourself down underneath the bar in a small squat position as you catch it near the collarbone and obviously start relaxing the shoulders. Extend your legs as you press the bar overhead. So the good way to start uh, learning thruster is to do wall ball exercises. The technique is the same but you're using less weight. So start with your feet shoulder width apart, your shoulders pulled back and down and the medicine ball held at the chest height with your elbows under the ball. When you descend into the squat, the idea is to get proper depth the same way you would do with the back squat. Keep your weight over your heels with your knees tracking your toes and aim to lower the crease of your hips below your knees. Make sure to hold the ball at chest height throughout the downward movement as letting a dip will cause you to round your back and shift your weight forward. Drive through your heels on the way up using hip action to throw the ball into the wall. Catch it on the rebound, squat again and do for reps. Begin with your feet shoulder width apart with your chosen weight held in front of your shoulders. Your elbows should be below your hands pointing down. Keeping your chest up, push your hips back and bend down into a squat. Once your legs are parallel to the ground, explosively drive out of the squat. Once you reach the top of the squat, use your momentum and press the weight over your head. Lower the weight back to the starting position. Since the thruster is a compound exercise that is made up of two exercises, 
This move actually works the entire body. During the squat portion of the move, the hamstrings, quads and glutes are being targeted. On the shoulder press portion of the move, the shoulders, the upper back and triceps muscles are worked. I hope you liked the video and let me know in the comments below if you would like to see something like this more often and I will see you soon. Bye!